welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is seduction. So there might be a love interest uh, at play here. Uh, you've got Jupiter sitting in Pisces over here, so you might be dealing with uh, affairs of the heart right now. Maybe this person is actually manipulating you over here because you've got Jupiter in Scorpio. So you might be dealing with a difficult situation and maybe you're thinking of, you could be thinking of ending it because, you know, Pisces is, is uh, the card ruled by um, Neptune and Pluto as well. So, you know, that Pluto brings about endings as well. And there seems to be some kind of manipulation going on. Maybe this person is being a bit controlling that you're dealing with. Now, you've got impulsiveness. So, uh, you know, you've been very attracted to this person. You've got uh, Mars sitting in Aries over here. Maybe you were attracted to their, um, you know, their dynamic uh, personality. And maybe this decision uh, of, uh, you know, um, going out with them has been a rather impulsive one because you've got that impulsive figure rushing into things without thinking about it. Now, you've got the egotism card over here. So um, Mars in uh, Leo, you've been concentrating a lot on yourself, self-worth, and trying to improve your station in life as well. You know, you may be changing a lot of things about yourself in this past uh, year or so. You're very optimistic about the future. You've got the moon in Sagittarius. It looks like you want to travel, meet a lot of people, communicate. Um, it looks like you're also changing your philosophies in life as well in this past year. Now, going into the future, you've got enterprise over there. So there's some kind of new project coming in, very hands-on. Uh, you know, you're going to be very, very involved in it and very, very busy with it. And uh, you've got the devotion card over here. Um, so this is Saturn sitting in um, uh, Libra over here. Saturn is about restriction, uh, maybe, you know, questioning this relationship as well, how devoted you are to this relationship, because this might be, uh, this person might be uh, quite restricting uh, to you. And maybe this is uh, putting you out of balance over there. This could be even an ending of relationship. You can see this uh, dove is lying on the ground over here. So you could be deciding to end the relationship because this person may be a little bit too manipulative for you. And maybe you felt that you started that relationship out of impulse and you're not prepared to continue with it. So that could well be coming in with that devotion card. Maybe you feel like you're night and day with this person. So, you know, maybe you're not getting along very well. But certainly on the job front, uh, you're going to be really, really busy. Uh, very, very hands-on. Very, you know, very, very busy. Maybe even multitasking. So I'm just going to draw some cards now from the uh, TV series Tarot. Uh, that's for the main read. And let's see what's going on. I have shuffled this deck and it is in the, the description box, so have a look. You've got the devil card over here. So, you know, in the energy read, there was somebody that was quite manipulative there, that relationship being manipulative. It looks like you are being manipulated within that relationship because you've got the devil card over there. So you're having a little bit of problems as far as that relationship goes. Uh, you're feeling very, very controlled by this particular person. This could even be a manipulation on the work front as well, where you're feeling like you have no... Um, you know, carte blanche to do what you want. So um, it might be that, you know, you have a boss that is very, uh, you know, controlling of you. You're dealing with a toxic situation. Uh, and, you know, maybe a lot of things are not coming to light. There might be a lot of hidden things, a lot of hidden secrets. And you're feeling very trapped within that situation. So a feeling of being, you know, in a, in a situation you don't want to be in anymore. You're feeling very trapped and manipulated. Now you've got the seven of pentacles. You're waiting for some kind of payoff to come off on because you've invested a lot of time and effort maybe into your work and maybe even into a relationship and uh, you're waiting for that payoff to come in. Now you've got the queen of rods over here. You could have been dealing with a fire sign person over here, queen of rods. Uh, somebody might that might be the person that 
is doing the manipulation. So, because the Queen of Rods can end up being a, quite a manipulative person, uh, they've got a lot of power in their hands. They're in a position of authority, and they're you know really controlling you, making promises to you, and you're waiting for those promises to be uh, you know uh, be made concrete, really. So you are sitting and waiting for something to come in, and maybe you are being manipulated by this particular person because you've got the Devil card there, and you've got that Queen of Rods, and the Queen of Rods can be somebody who can be quite cold-hearted and can be quite manipulative. So you might be going through that uh, energy right now. You've got the Four of Swords in the last few months. You could have been facing some kind of legal decision. There could have been a breakup that you went through. You've got the Three of Swords over here, and this could have been a divorce that you went through. You've now withdrawn from the world, and you're like reassessing the situation. Maybe uh, you've come up with a new strategy on how to deal with things uh, in the last year. And you have gone through that heartbreak. So you've got a recovering from that heartbreak. It's still, you know, pretty, um, you know... Um, fresh in your mind, really. Uh, and like I said, there could be some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with within that. So uh, maybe a divorce situation. You have withdrawn quite a bit and you're dealing with that. So you've got, apart from things going on, this could be the manipulate, the person that you who's manipulating you could be something on the emotional front as well. And this person has caused heartbreak and maybe they're still hanging about. It could be a fire sign person, like I said, Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius, but that's just the energy that's behind it. This person's pretty dynamic uh, and they're, you know, pretty manipulative. This could also be dealing with a Capricorn person as well. So there's something around you that has caused heartbreak. There's been a, some kind of divorce situation and you're now dealing with that as well. Maybe also, you know, with this Seven of Pentacles, you feel like the investments uh, in that relationship uh, didn't pay off. And, you know, you're a bit upset about that. But you are waiting for something to come in. Now, you're waiting for some kind of financial settlement to come in with this Ten of Pentacles. So this could well be a divorce situation that you're going through and you're waiting for a payout from it. If it is a work situation, then you're ending that situation and you're waiting for money to come in as well on the work front. Now, going to the future, you've got uh, the Emperor. Now, the Emperor card is ruled by Archangel Michael, and it's Judgment card. So, it deals with the law and legal situations generally. So, it looks like you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to be made, and that's going to produce a settlement, or you want money, or you're waiting for money to come in. And it looks like that decision is going to be made at this particular moment. You've got the Emperor ca Empress card over here. So that's you uh, being in control of that situation, being on top of your work. Uh, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, there is some kind of legal judgment that will bring in money for you as well. And, uh, you know, on your work front, it looks like, uh, you know, abundance is coming in, but there's a lot of fame as well coming back to you on the work front. This card is ruled by um, Taurus or uh, Venus rather, and that brings in, uh, you know, there could be a legal ending because it's ruled by Venus. Venus rules uh, Taurus, which is personal money, but it also rules uh, um, Libra, which is about legal situations. So it looks like there is going to be a payoff from this particular legal situation. It's going to be a positive outcome in your favor. Uh, now you've got uh, that... Um, page of uh, rods over here it looks like you want to start a new project embark on a new journey and maybe you want to travel so after this money comes in it looks like you're going to make a decision uh, to travel we'll definitely see the world so you want a fame and you want to claim and you want to get everything in your hands this is the king of cups and it's your card uh, this is magnum pi from uh uh, the Magnum series, uh, television series. You can see he's driving his red Ferrari. He's got that cups. Uh, you know, he's got that uh, award in his hand. Uh, there's travel also going on over there. So, you know, and living the good life. And this is what you want. This is what you're aiming for or hoping for. Now, you've got the Six of Cups over here, the Eight of Pentacles over here, and the Hierophant. Now, with the Six of Cups and that Eight of Pentacles, it looks like there's a new job offer coming in for you. There could be a new relationship offer coming in, somebody that you met in the past or that you knew in the past, and you bump into them quite by accident, really. Uh, you can see this man's nursing a bump on his head. So it's, you know, almost a literal bump over there. So it could be somebody that you bump into from the past and, you know, rekindle an old relationship. 
On the other hand, uh, you know, you've got that Eight of Pentacles working very hard, uh, becoming an expert at what you're doing, focusing on it. So further training within that job. So it's not, you know, your initial training. This is about uh, specializing in whatever you're doing, and that's where your focus is going to be. And there might be a new offer coming in for you to be able to do that. So an offer with study attached to it or the, um, you know, uh, the promise of being able to go up that career ladder uh, and tra tra or train further in that particular field field. You've got the Hierophant, so it might be even further training. Um, you've got the Hierophant that talks about, you know, going back to school, maybe, you know, in a sense, uh, learning again, uh, because the Hierophant is about uh, education and lessons and, uh, you know, getting rid of the traditional views that you had and getting new information. You could also need to get some, uh, you know, advice or counseling as well with the Hierophant, some professional advice. But in this case, it looks like it might be, you know, you're going uh, maybe you're going to be training people up with the Hierophant uh, or you're going to be receiving uh, training. So this is going to some kind of institution, uh, maybe going into university kind of scenario as well. And, uh, you know, learning as well on that job, becoming an expert at it. And it looks like that offer is coming in for you uh, to, to do just that. Now, with the cups, it's also about education and training. So it looks like you're going to be specializing and there's some further training coming in for you. It looks like this legal situation that you're failing is, uh, um, that you're uh, waiting for is going to be in your favor as as well with that empress so there's a legal payout over there that's coming so you are waiting uh, but it looks like uh, you know it's all going to be quite positive for you and you're going to start something brand new after that because you've got that uh, you know start a new uh, cycle really with that ace of um, uh, rods in your hand over there and that might involve some travel as well looks like uh, you know Indiana Jones going on a new quest so a new um, you know a new venture coming in. So you've got uh, the six of air over here. So things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip. So like I said, there could be some travel and, you know, you are moving away from that difficult situation. You've got new insight into what is happening and, uh, you know, things are going to be improving now. The, the worst is over. You've got the five of fire. So you're still dealing with difficult people, competing goals, bothersome details and conflict with others. So the situation you might be in might be very competitive, but you might also be dealing with very difficult uh, customers, difficult people. And, uh, you know, there's come some conflict arising. So make sure you're choosing your battles uh, very wisely. You know, back down, uh, you know, walk away from something that is going to cause a loss of energy. You don't want that because you've got the strength card over here. Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So this is you taking uh, control of that tiger in your life. So whatever the obstacle is and problem is, you are sorting it out. So whatever these people or whatever these this competition is, you will be able to sort it out with the strength card. If you're going through any illnesses or ill health, it looks like you will recover and you will take control of that situation. Uh, and you are moving away from a very, very difficult situation. It, you know, once that legal decision is made, you will be moving away because it's the six of air, which is the six of swords. So swords are about, you know, legal issues, a judgment made in your favor and things will be looking up. And, you know, you might even do some travel after that. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.